Whether you love cats or not, everyone agrees that the campus cats need rescuing. They have been forced onto the street to face starvation and disease by owners who can no longer care for them. After abandonment, these cats end up here where they live off scraps. These cats then breed, bringing litters of kittens into a world of hardship. If it weren't for noble students aiding them, many of these kittens would have died. These students have then taken it a step further, rescuing the kittens, nursing them back to health and loving them. This is a new start for these kittens and a chance at new life. We decided to interview Katina, a leading member in the cat rescue groups, to discuss the issues facing their group and the campus cats. In relation to the campus cats, what is the process taken to rescue them? Yeah, well we have a volunteer feeders go up every night. We keep an eye on the animals and watch how the colonies are going. We try very hard to trap them, to neuter and re-release the ones that aren't tameable, and the babies we rehabilitate and find new homes for. Okay. Where do they go once they're rescued? Um, well, if they, if they, they show signs of being tame, um, they, well, they, we actually put them into foster care so that they can actually be raised as, as friendly little cats. Um, once they've gone through their desexing and vaccinations, then they can be put up for adoption and hopefully get new homes. How long are you able to keep them there for? As long as a foster carer can look after them. If one foster carer can't keep them for an extended period, we'll move into another foster home. Eventually we hope that they can catch, come to the Cat Cuddle Cafe, but they have to be fairly social and they have to pay all their immunities, um, you know, check to make sure that they've not got any disease as well. Okay. How important is it that your organisation rescues the cats before the local pound? Um, well, the local pound will trap them. Um, their outcome once they're going into the pound is pretty small. Um, we've got them on welfare being now running the pounds. It's um, a little bit better outcome than the previous pounds. Um, they don't stand much of a chance unless they can foster and do the same thing we do, but usually if they're feralish, then they're going to be destroyed. What would happen to the cats if they don't get sold? Um, well, if, they, if they're actually not sh showing no signs of being um, tamed, then we will actually just release them after desexing. So it's a trap, neuter and return program. What are the problems facing your organisation and the cats? Well, we've got the campus um, powers that be who actually don't want us to be, to be actually feeding them or looking after them. We actually have to feed them secretly. We're actually not allowed to feed them. Um, they just want them trapped and removed. Um, so we're fighting the powers that be. We're fighting the government big time at the moment where they want to just kill every cat that's out in the street. Um, that might be, you know, the Moggy next door as well. So we've got a lot of, um, a lot of opposition, let's say, at this stage. These issues seem big for a creature so small, but fortunately the group isn't going to give up any time soon, not at least until all the cats are rescued. So in the meantime, there are a lot of things we can do to help these cats. How can we as students help you save the cats? Yeah, we'll jump on board and become a volunteer. We have a page, the Campus Cats, um, QUT Campus Cats, and we have a Campus Cats Volunteers page as well. So we have um, people, we need people to volunteer to help feed them each night. There's a roster for that. We also need people to keep an eye out for them. Tell us if you've seen kittens being born. Tell us if you see an injured one. Um, just be aware. Maybe have some cat pickies in your bag and if you see them. This time of year it's kitten season, so um, the, the mummies are going to be very hungry and any kittens around will be hungry. So we don't want them to be hungry. We want them to be as happy and healthy as possible because it is distressing to see hungry cats around. So um, we want it to be a happy environment. So students can get on board and give us a hand. Okay. So who do we contact to if we see a wild Yeah, well, as you said, we've got the page and we can also hop on the, the, the volunteers page and join that page, like the page and offer up your help. Um, make comments on our actual main page, contact myself or some of the other volunteers on the page. Yeah, there's, um, we're always up for help, definitely. What is the application process to adopt a cat? Well, we have a rescue school for system or rescue, so the Campus Cats volunteers and the Cattle Cuddle, Cuddle, uh, Cat Cuddle Cafe are actually all joined together as one big rescue group. So Pussy School all looks after the dissexing um, and the rehoming of the animals, so it's an adoption process just like adopting any animal or a child, um, you need to have the, the requirements to own a cat's, cats for the life of the cat, not just for a year or two. We want someone to be able to commit to a cat for 20 years and have the appropriate accommodation and be allowed to have a cat, actually. Thank you so much for your time. Good luck with your project. You're welcome. Thank you. If you're a cat lover or all-round animal lover, consider adopting. The cats will thank you.